My name is Brad Hamburg, and I serve as the pastor of counseling at the Summit Church, uh, as well as a professor of counseling at Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. Uh, I've recently written a book, uh, Making Sense of Forgiveness. Uh, and I think one thing that we should all be able to admit uh, is that forgiveness is hard. You know, one thing about forgiveness is uh, it never comes uh, at a good time. Uh, when we need to forgive, uh, that means that we have just been hurt. Uh, we're experiencing pain. Uh, when we need to be forgiven, uh, we're experiencing guilt and shame. Uh, and so the context in which uh, forgiveness is received or granted uh, is always a difficult thing. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we know that forgiveness is beautiful. Uh, it's central to the Christian faith. It's the essence of the gospel. Uh, and so when we think about uh, the beauty of forgiveness, then we feel rushed. We feel guilty when uh, it's hard to forgive. Um, but forgiveness is also messy. Uh, there's all kinds of questions that come up. How much should we trust after we forgive? Uh, does saying I forgive you mean that I give you full license back into my life to influence my life in the same way uh, that you had before? And how do I deal with the memories of what I forgave? I mean, some of them are sticky and we think, man, forgive and forget, that would be wonderful, uh, but I, I just can't. And, you know, can forgiveness be demanded? I know in scripture, forgiveness is commanded and God says that I, I should forgive. But if, I've, if someone um, has offended and they're saying I have to forgive them, can, do they get to demand that just because God commands it? Do they get to be the timekeeper for when it happens? Um, and then you know, there's this weird dynamic that oftentimes embracing forgiveness from others uh, can be harder than embracing forgiveness from God. I mean, we know that God has promised to forgive and that God is stable and sturdy when we don't look into his eyes and see the, uh, that he's remembering the pain of what we did to him. And, and, but then with other people, we, we see them struggling and trying to forgive. And so there's all the social dynamics around uh, forgiveness. And these are the kinds of questions uh, that embody why I wrote uh, Making Sense of Forgiveness. Uh, what I hope you'll find in this book uh, is a patient guide through the terrain of forgiveness, uh, one that honors the real challenges that exist, uh, but one that also uh, points you to the, uh, the beauty, the gospel, and the glory of Christ. Uh, I pray that uh, in this book, uh, what you find is something that helps you experience more of the freedom uh, that God intended to give uh, through the gift of forgiveness.